to Klaus. Whole central machining centres, there's many manufacturers that make them, but you like to think yours is a little bit different, don't you? Tell us some more. Well, you know, Watson is always doing something different. Our new AA4 has been introduced about two years ago. Um, it's a part of our horizontal machining center line. And this one is really then designed for parts, making it fast. So aluminum, steel, but even Inconet can be machined here. It's a, we try to make this machine as compact as possible, despite having a bullet size of 400 by 400 millimeter. I think we have succeeded really a machining center which can go to the MMCs, the multinational companies, but also for the chop shops to produce parts in a higher volume. And that, to be honest, that's the first thing I noticed. You, you'd be forgiven for thinking it wasn't a twin pallet and maybe you've got to bolt the other pallet on, but it's actually yeah. a, a large work and envelope capacity for such a small machine. Sure, it's, I mean, it's the capacity of the machine himself, but also the two changer behind. You know, on horizontal machining centers, like on the i2, you need practically more toolings. Customers want more and more in the hour days, and that makes the machine, unfortunately, bigger. It's worth pointing out, obviously, the spindle of the machine, you've got various options, but actually made by watching. Yeah, we make all the spindles ourselves, from the design to the finished spindle. So this is one of our strengths of being a one-off manufacturer. One-off means from the casting to the finished machine, everything in-house. Fantastic. And this is quite a unique looking component. Traditionally, we'd see a lot of these in the automotive sector, yeah. but that's not an automotive part. No, this is for the semicon industry, a so-called chamber. Uh, chambers are used for chip manufacturing, and we all know the chips in the hour days in everybody's mouth. I mean, there's millions and millions of chips required every day now. So this is one part of it, and it's machined out of a solid block. So there's a lot of chips coming out, and as you can see, the conduit and the machining here is very complex. And this machine, it's going to be highly efficient because obviously we're going to be cut in to twin yeah. pallet machine. Yeah. So how about keeping the machine stable and not losing tolerances and things? Well, the main point on the horizontal is not only the frame and the casting, where we have sensors on and with our temperature control, we can control this. But it's the main spindle. The spindle is a oil jet lubricated spindle. That means we're injecting oil into the bearings directly. That means also that our bearings are never running in the same oil longer than maybe a friction of a second. So this makes the machine really stable even you run it 24 seven with maximum RPM. Sure, and this is a four axis machine? It's a, you can have it in three plus one or full four axis. Okay, and uh, the control? Uh, in this case, is here the Fanuc Zero I, but of course there's also an option then of the Siemens control. Particularly in Germany, customers like to have the Siemens control. And the thing with horizontals, maybe we see a lot of people buy five-axis machines. Of course, you sell these machines. Yeah. But um, quite often, there's an argument to say you don't need, you don't need a five-axis machine. It's going to be two operations anyway. So put it on a horizontal. Well, look, this is depending on the application, how complex it is. Do I have to, to drill angles or machine a surface? It's, it's a case to case, but you're right. I mean, with four axes, I can do quite a lot of operations already. This is a, an ex another exciting launch here at Emo. Do you, yeah. do you think you're going to sell lots of these machines, I'm hoping? We, we think so. I mean, look, based on our experience with the H6 and H8, which are compared to this one, Elephants, uh, in a positive way, um, this one is really there for part production and we have cases and we already have plans to extend the line to bigger machines, 500, 600, 30 pallets.